Hi, I'm Kate, and today I'll be watching Avatar The Last Airbender, episodes 13 and 14. Episode 11 was The Great Divide. We saw Aang put his mediating skills to work. He had to assist getting the Zhangs and the Ganjins, two tribes, neighboring tribes who have been feuding for over a hundred years to cross this canyon without ripping each other apart or attracting predators. He had to think on his feet. He had to tell a few white lies, but at the end of the day, he got them to get along, to put their differences aside, and to cooperate long enough to get out of the canyon. Not only that, but they are now going to the Earth Kingdom capital together. In episode 12, The Storm, we find out why Aang was caught in a storm a hundred years ago when he was frozen in time. And we also learn the backstory of Zuko's scar. Both of them had traumatic and embarrassing moments in their past that they're trying to overcome. Shameful moments to them. And in this episode, as a second storm approaches, they are both given the opportunity to act differently, to learn from their past mistakes. I love how we continue to see Zuko and Aang's stories and paths kind of continue to cross and parallel each other. They're more alike than they know. Chapter 13, The Blue Spirit. This looks like Fire Nation architecture. Good aim. Absolutely not. The Yu Yan archers stay here. Your request is denied, Commander Zhao. Oh, does he want to take them to go after Aang? They're my archers, and what I say goes. But my search for the Avatar is... Is nothing but a vanity project. We're fighting a real war here, and I need every man I've got. Oh, wow. Betty feels like uh, Zuko right now. News from Fire Lord Ozai. It appears I've been promoted to Admiral. My request oh, no. is now in order. I guess he does not feel so silly right now. Who's that? <coughs> this oh, should bring no. your fever down. You know what I love about Appa the most? His sense of humor. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Me too. I'll tell him. How's Sokka doing? Not so good. Being out in that storm really did a number on him. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't find any ginger root for the tea. But I found a map. There's an herbalist institute on the top of that mountain. <laughs> we could probably find oh, a cure actually, for it is helpful. <coughs> oh, no. <coughs> Not you, too. Better put a mask on. That's how on. Sokka started yesterday. Now look at him. He thinks he's an earthbender. Take that, Aang, you stay away. rock. Maybe it's safer if I go on foot. Keep well, an eye yeah. on him, guys. <laughs> ah, you guys are killing me. I'm excited to see Nurse Momo, though. Well, it is helpful we can run that fast. We haven't been able to pick up the Avatar's trail since the storm, but if we continue heading northeast... Ooh, what do that's they a big want? Boat. Perhaps a sporting game of Paisho. I don't think so. The hunt for the Avatar has been given prime importance. All information regarding the Avatar must be reported directly to Admiral Zhao. Zhao has Admiral been promoted? Zhao. Well, good for him. Not good for us. Now get off my ship and let us pass. Admiral Zhao is not allowing ships in or out of this area. Off my ship! Hmm. Excellent! I take the butt. Well, Uncle Iroh doesn't seem too concerned, so... I hear that the Avatar can create tornadoes and run faster than the wind. Ah, that's just a bunch of Fire Lord propaganda. There's no way that's true. <laughs> but actually... Katara, please, water. Listen carefully, Momo. I need you to take this to the river and fill it with water. <laughs> oh no. What is he gonna get? Hello! I'm sorry to barge in like this, but I need some medicine for my friends. And your friends are going to be fine. I've been up I don't here think she's gonna be in a rush. Years, you know. Now it's just me and Miyuki. That's nice. Are you almost done? Hold on. I just need to add one last ingredient. Nana leaf, and nope, ginger root. Uh-uh. Patience, Aang. Patience, Zuko. Is everything okay? It's been almost an hour, and you haven't given the men an order. 
I don't care what they do. With Zhao's resources, it's just a matter of time before he captures the Avatar. My honor, my throne, my country. I'm about to lose them all. We're giving up pretty quickly. Here's what I was looking for. <laughs> Lum blossom. Thanks for all your help. Hands ah! off. It's Miyuki's dinner. What about my friend? Well, all they need is some frozen wood frogs. What am I supposed to do with frozen frogs? Why, well, suck on them, of course. That's really the cure? Once those little critters thaw out, they're useless. You're insane, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, don't stand there all day. Go! Oh, okay, that really is the cure. All right. Uh-oh. Good defense. Are these, yep, these are the archers. Uh-oh. Really putting Aang's defensive skills to the test. Would be a great time to have our kite right now. So yeah, the Fire Nation is formidable because they have warriors that aren't just firebenders. A frog! Frozen frogs. Take plenty. Good multitasking. Waterbender. Oh, no. Is this really happening right now? So this is the great Avatar. Master of all the elements. Well, not yet. Untie me and I'll fight you right now! Uh, no. How does it feel to be the only airbender left? Oh, don't worry. You won't be killed like they were. Die, you'll just be reborn, and the Fire Nation will have to begin its search for the Avatar all over again. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Even tied up, he's pretty strong. There is no escaping this fortress, and no one is coming. I think you're wrong on both accounts. They just might take a while to get to the rescuing part. Oh, it's my cats. Momo is my no, cats. Momo. Hang, what in the world is taking you so long? Oh no. Who is this? Smooth. All clear. Go on in. Oh, so maybe someone is coming to save Aang a little sooner than I thought. We are the sons and daughters of fire. Until today, only one thing stood in our path to victory. The Avatar. This is giving Saruman vibes. <laughs> this is the year Sozin's Comet returns to grant us its power. This is the year the Fire Nation breaks through the walls of Ba Sing Se and burns the city to the ground! Uh, Sing was where Iroh was held captive, or he lost. What? No, don't leave frogs! Oh. My friends are sick and they need you! They're thawing out. Maybe they end up helping us. Very curious to know who this is. It's a long story. Oh, Momo's trying so hard. We need water. Water. Aang, please hurry. Who's this Aang kid you keep talking about, your highness? <laughs> it is really pretty crowd, though. I want a full transcription of my speech sent to the Fire Lord. Okay, we're going back to feeling silly again. Because and... is this not the second time that the Avatar has escaped from Zhao? Sir, shall I hold off sending that speech to the Fire Lord? Yeah, I think so. There! On the wall! Faster, faster, faster. The Avatar has escaped! Close all the gates immediately! Faster, faster, faster. Are we going back to save our friend? Helicopter. Only we can go a little faster. <laughs> a 
And did we just lose both of our swords? But we're lucky nobody's used firebending on us yet. This episode has a lot of the Two Towers vibes, because now this is reminding me of Helm's Deep with the ladders and them fighting. Oh, there we go. Ooh, so close. The Avatar must be captured alive! <laughs> what are you doing? Let them out. Now! Does Zhao know who this is? Because... This requires... Precision. But I was gonna say, I guess that could be a way for the other nations to try and stop. The Fire Do Nation would be to kill shot. Aang so that he's reborn into the next element. Knock out the thief. Was that Zuko? <gasps> help him, help him, help him, hide him, hide him, hide him, hide him, hide him. But I do think it's because Zuko still wants the glory of catching him himself. You know what the worst part about being born over a hundred years ago is? I miss all the friends I used to hang out with. I used to always visit my friend Kuzan. He was one of the best friends I ever had. And he was from the Fire Nation, just like you. If we knew each other back then, do you think we could have been friends too? <laughs> Aang could have killed you. He kept you alive. Where have you been, Prince Zuko? Lieutenant G sang a stirring love song. I'm going to bed. No disturbance. He's been up all night. Oh, Momo. Suck on these. I'll make you feel better. I think they're delusional enough to do it. How is your trip? Did you make any new friends? No. No. I don't think I did. Looks like somebody might be questioning their loyalty. Mm, this is tasty. Mm. Wait till they thaw out. <laughs> <laughs> Momo's gonna finish the job. Okay, so I'm glad Katara and Sokka are feeling better. I figured it must have been somebody from the Fire Nation who was wearing the mask. It being Zuko was a surprise. I thought maybe it was just like another person that's part of the Fire Nation showing us that not everybody's on board with the Fire Lord's plan, but it being Zuko makes things complicated because I still believe there's a lot of good in him. We saw him staring at the flag at the end of the Fire Nation and probably considering what Aang had said to him about being friends. We know Zuko has a good heart. We learned in the last episode that he didn't want to sacrifice any members of the Fire Nation. But again, I do think he initially went through with this plan and carried out the plan because he wants to be the one that captures Aang himself. But Aang's actions in saving him, not leaving him there to be found, and definitely I'm sure he would have been executed. So he saved his life, he spared his life, and he told him that they would have been friends a hundred years ago. I think we still have a ways to go with Zuko, but it's progress. The fortune teller. That was a cool looking fish. He is taunting us. Someone's hungry. You are so gonna be dinner. Hey, where's the fishing line? Oh, I didn't think you would need it, Sokka. I made you a necklace, Aww. Katara. I thought since you lost your other one. Yeah, Zuko still has her mother's necklace. I love it. Great, Aang. Stop taunting me! Can't we just use some water bending? So, how do I look? Aww. You mean all of you or just your neck? I mean, because both look great. Smoochie, smoochie. Stop teasing him, Sokka. Aang's just a good friend. A sweet little guy. Just like Momo. What's wrong with Papa? Someone's being attacked by a platypus bear! I don't know. He looks pretty calm. Well, hello there. Nice day, isn't it? Run downhill, then climb a tree! No, punch him in the bill! <gasps> and then run in zigzags! No need. It's going to be fine. 
Whoa there! Nicely done, Appa. Mmm, lunch. Lucky for you we came along. Thanks. But everything was already under control. Yeah, he looked like he had it under control. Aunt Wu predicted I'd have a safe journey. She's the fortune teller from my village. Ah, well, you had a safe journey because they saved you. But the fortune teller was wrong. You didn't have a safe journey. You were almost killed. But I wasn't. All right, have a good one. Oh, and Aunt Wu said if I met any travelers to give them this. Let's see what it is. Maybe we should go see Aunt Wu and learn our fortunes. It could be fun. What do you know? An umbrella. You can't really tell the future. I guess you're not really getting wet then. Look, I'm gonna predict the future now. It's going to keep drizzling. See? Not everyone has the gift, Sokka. Aunt Wu is expecting you. Of course she really? is. <sighs> My name is Meng, and I'm Aunt Wu's assistant. Someone has a crush on Aang. Well, hello there. Hello. Can I get you some tea or some of Aunt Wu's special bean curd puffs? I'll try a curd puff. Just a second. She wasn't talking to you. And you've got some pretty big ears, don't you? I guess. Don't be modest. They're huge. It's very nice to meet you. Very nice. Very nice. Aunt Wu says I'm going to meet my true love. That's so romantic. I wonder if my true love will give me a rare flower. Is that the big ear guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? I don't think it's him. Now, who's next? Don't be shy. I guess that's me. What do you think they're talking about back there? Boring stuff, I'm sure. Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. That's exactly what Aang wants to know. Well, I gotta find a bathroom. Bang could probably help you. <laughs> so, do you see anything interesting in my love line? I see a great romance. I can see that he's a very powerful bender. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone had a pretty good bathroom break. It wasn't your fortune, Aang. Okay, let's get this over with. Your future is full of struggle and anguish. Most of it self-inflicted. <laughs> but you didn't read my palms or anything. I don't need to. You then. Come with me. The bones never lie. Go on, pick one. Now throw it on the fire. Interesting. I've never seen this before. <gasps> oh my! Uh, I sense the fire nation in your future. <laughs> this is incredible. You will be involved in a great battle. Battle whose outcome will determine the fate of the whole world. Yeah, no pressure. Yeah, I knew that already. But did it say anything about a girl? You want to know about love? <laughs> yes. He's still a kid. Oh. I must have missed something. Trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. Really? Thank you, Aunt Wu. Oh. Because <sighs> we know that Aang gives hope to everybody else, so... Sometimes he needs somebody to give him a little hope. That woman is crazy. My life will be calm and happy and joyful. Ow! Exactly. Certain things are going to turn out very well. They sure are. Why? You'll find out. You hope. We're waiting for Aunt Wu to come and read the clouds to predict the fate of the whole village. Cloud reading will tell us if Mount Makapu will remain dormant for another year or if it will erupt. Don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Huh? Sure, I guess. Hey, Katara, don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Shh. No. Oh. Bending arrow cloud. Good crops this year. Nice big harvest. Wavy moon shape cloud. Gonna be a great year for twins. Yes! The village will not be destroyed by the volcano this year! Yay! Since I got you here, uh, there's something I want to tell you. I like you, but more than normal. Oh, he's the Avatar, but he's still just a kid. About this man I'm supposed to marry? Is he gonna be handsome? Oh, I hope Can he's Can we just tall. narrow it down, please? Ah, uh, you want another reading. Yes, please. I think this one's gonna cost us a little more, though. Someone really needs to scream some sense at them. They seem happy, Sokka. 
Not for long. I'm gonna prove Aunt Wu's predictions are nonsense. I bet Aunt Wu told you to wear those red shoes, didn't she? Yeah, she said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. And how many times have you worn those shoes since you got that fortune? Every day. Then of course it's gonna come true! Self-inflicted. Is that enough information for you? Wow. Thanks, Aunt Wu. Wow, we learned a lot. I don't care what Aunt Wu told you! You have to take a bath sometime! <laughs> you know some stuff about ladies, right? Some stuff? You've come to the right place. What can I do you for? I don't think it's the right place. This girl. <laughs> oh, no. I think I know who you mean. Up a subtle vibe that she likes you, too. She does? Oh, we are not talking about the same person. The number one mistake nice guys like you make? Being too nice. If you want to keep her interested, you have to act hmm. aloof. Like, you don't really care one way don't or the Don't listen other. to this advice, Aang. Okay. Hey, Aang. I was wondering. See you later. Wow. That kid is good. Oh. Hey, Katara. I didn't see you there. Hey, Aang. Look out for the ducks. So. Where are the cabbages? Uh-huh. Would you like some? Oh! A panda lily! Did you see that? Excuse me, where can a guy find one of those things? Not just any flower. Oh, and, and Meng really wants a flower. I've seen it in action, and boy, does it work. There, on the rim. Oh, are we maybe about to see that the volcano is oh, active? No. Yeah. Yeah. Those people all think they're safe. We've got to warn them. There's no time to walk. Grab on. Really good timing that we went up there. Katara, can you believe she won't let me in? And after all the business I've given her? But she doesn't even charge. Aunt Wu was wrong about the volcano. Ought to change my mind. Oh no. Yeah, about that. Aunt Wu was wrong! Yeah, yeah, we know you don't believe in Aunt Wu, Mr. Science and Reason Lover. I want to believe Aunt Wu and her predictions as much as you do. But my brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. Well, I heard Aunt Wu's prediction with my own ears. Well, you're being faced with an eruption right now in front of your face. Look! Can your fortune telling explain that? Let's get moving. Your science explain why it rains? Yes. Yes! Yes, it can! <laughs> We're taking fate in our own hands. First, I need to borrow Aunt Wu's cloud reading book. Very sneaky, but very smart. You don't like me, do you? Of course I like you, but not the way I like you. It's just really hard when you like someone, but they don't think of you that way. He knows. I know what you mean. She's beautiful, by the way. Huh? Oh, she knows. She's sweet, she's a bender, and her hair seems so manageable. <laughs> don't worry. You're gonna meet a great guy who's gonna completely fall for you. I know it. Wait, don't you want this? How did you know? I've kind of been stalking you. Hey, oh, thanks. Uh, I guess. Well, it did make this a little easier. I found it. The symbol for volcanic doom. This looks like a lot of fun, though. And they do make a good team. Something's happening in the clouds. That's very strange. It shouldn't... Oh my! We can still save the village if we act fast! Lava is gonna flow downhill to this spot. If we can dig a deep enough trench, we can channel all the lava away from the village to the river. I'm an earthbender! I'm not! Everybody else, grab a shovel! <laughs> We're gonna have to work pretty fast. <gasps> Good teamwork. Aang is good at getting people to work together. Dig faster, dig faster! Let's hope this works. Good job, Momo. We're standing a little close. It's too much! It's gonna overflow! Sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. Wait, what did you just say? Uh-oh. By the way, we kind of borrowed your book. So you messed with the clouds, did you? Had to. 
very clever. But Aunt Wu predicted the village wouldn't be destroyed, and it wasn't. She was right, after all. I hate you. You didn't really see love in my fortune, did you? You just told me what I wanted to hear. Just as you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your own destiny. Exactly. It was so nice to meet you. Take care, Meng. Take care. Floozy. Oh. <laughs> I was literally about to say like, oh, that's so sweet, girl supporting girls. <laughs> That was a really cute episode. I love when they give the give us these like a little break because we did Between the Storm and then the last episode. Those are some heavier ones, so this was a cute one to end on. I like when they remind us that they're still children with big hearts and bigger ideas. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in episode 15.